your story. Let's uh, uh, carry on now. We go back to uh, the Eastern Cape where the fire that has uh, ravaged 20 thatched houses in St. Francis Bay, uh, we believe now has been contained. It's also believed that the fire was started by a bush fire. Residents have been evacuated in the affected area. A number of roads have also been closed. 20 houses have been affected, of which 12 have been totally destroyed. The bushfire is assumed to have been started by a group of people smoking in the area. There have been no casualties reported, but people have been evacuated uh, in St. Francis Drive, uh, Walton Drive and Assisi Drive. About six years ago, 89 houses were destroyed in the town when its uh, thatch roofs caught fire. Our reporter Jade Lee Paulser is there. We're coming to you outside one of the houses that have just been burnt now down. Uh, the tally stands at 20 houses. This gentleman's house, if I can just move out of shot. Um, unfortunately, the owners are in England. They're not here. And the neighbors actually had to help move the vehicles away and help rescue some of their belongings inside the house. But unfortunately, personnel are still outside. Um, firefighters are still trying to contain um, the embers, the blaze that is continuing here. Um, earlier on they tried to contain it but then it flared up but they're going to be bringing in a truck now water truck just to try and put out the rest of the fires I'm just going to bring into conversation one of the neighbors here um, Cheryl McDonald she actually lives right next door and she had to evacuate her house Cheryl it's absolutely devastating um, I saw some of your belongings outside your your furniture how are you feeling right now um, a little bit calmer than I was earlier because I think we've managed to save man. Unfortunately for my neighbour, theirs is, is gone. Um, so yeah, it was it was a bit of a panic in, this morning at about half past nine when I, I realised that the fire was heading straight towards us. But we started wetting the roof at about half past nine this morning, my sons and my husband and I. And I think that possibly is what's what saved us. Um, and yeah, and we've, we've, we've took all our stuff out the house as well. It's all sitting in the driveway. But we're hoping to move back in this, this evening. And I think we've managed to save our house. Now, there are some reports that the fire started in the bush. What are the residents saying here in St. Francis Bay? I don't really know because I've been focused on, on, on fighting the fire on, on my property. But this morning at about half past nine, when I smelt the fire, I drove up to the top of Harbour Road, which is um, opposite that is a whole big open sort of uh, 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 bushes and whatever. And the fire was in there and the wind was blowing directly our way west uh, from from the west and um so yeah so i knew that we were we would probably be in the in the path of the of the fire now earlier off air you told me that you tried to um save some of the neighbors belongings and whatnot and they're actually um overseas at the moment have you tried to actually make contact with them no i haven't myself my, my sister-in-law has um uh, uh, i think might have been in contact with them i'm not sure but people came and they moved the cars and we got the generator out and we looked for gas bottles and whatever because that's the issue when they blow then it's a problem um but no i i, I certainly haven't been in contact with them at, at all they live in england and then there also reports that um, at six o'clock this evening the winds are going to pick up again. I'm sure you're very concerned with that. We are indeed. We, 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 we've been told that people will remain um, uh, watching all the smoldering bits. And um, yeah, so that's all we can hope is that it doesn't. I think tomorrow it's going to start dropping, which, which will be a good thing. But uh, it, it should blow most of the night. But we're hoping that we're going to be all okay. Yeah, I hope they can contain all the fires across um, St. Francis Bay. Thank you very much, Cheryl. I'm Cheryl MacDonald, the neighbour of this gentleman's house that is currently or that has burnt down. The gentleman is situated in England. They have tried to make contact with him to notify him. As it stands now, 20 houses have been affected. We're going to try and bring you um, some of the personnel also into the conversation and find out how they are containing the blaze. I'm also told that 6 o'clock tonight the winds will pick up again, but we'll bring you all of that much later. It's back to you in studio.